what are these land assets that you talk about? Considering the fact that the north at the moment, from Borono to the Middle Belt, bandits and terrorists have taken over, and yeah, that yeah. is not going to disappear. Because yeah. there are people who say that this administration has not been able to address that challenge. How are you going to address that challenge? I've said it. I'm only going to say the same thing. There's no way the reason for, if you study, out of the 10 forest states in Nigeria, nine is in the north. You have to ask yourself, what is fueling this banditry? It's attributed to a lot of things, but the major one is poverty. Ruben, the more you put people out of poverty, even Jamaica, a country like Jamaica, you sports. There's a variety of things you can do in this country that are low hanging, even sports. We have a lot of, if you put small money in sports today and train our youth who are eager to do all sorts of sports, you're going to start reducing criminality. They found that if, so one, people who are doing small footballing and everything all over the world today earn more money than states in Nigeria and if not near that. So we need to start investing in ICT, in technology, in everything, in entertainment. There's so many things we can do to start pulling this people out of poverty. The more we do it, but why do I say about agriculture? Ruben, I've shown you, if we can feed ourselves today, if we can feed ourselves today, I can, and export a little bit of agriculture, I'm not even saying just that we're feeding ourselves, and we're step, step, export a little bit of it, Ruben, you're going to earn foreign income. Why you're going to bring down your inflation, like I said before, and you stabilize your rates of exchange. If you export today, bring in physical rascality, running on it, and reduce it, I can assure you Naira will not be more than 500 Naira. Okay, so let's talk about the economy. Nigeria has a revenue problem. We're not calling 